Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our onslaught against the Hive. A fairly difficult legendary Iron Man run where I'm trying to beat a triple pod sized um, Hive invasion with only ballistic weapons and no armor upgrades. Uh, consequently, most of our soldiers are currently very much up in the sick bay, so we get we have the infirmary on, uh, infirmary on the way, but that doesn't help us in West Asia. Operation Iron Dance is upon us, and we need to find the right team in order to deal with that uh, stuff. So let's see what I can cook up. Good, here we go. So the idea is that we're having a few frontliners and a few kind of mid-light uh, soldiers. Hopbite, uh, Namri and Roro are supposed to go in closer whilst uh, Zuhuger uh, is going to lay some covering fire uh, with uh, his LMG. And I gave Bastard a sniper rifle. If we can take decent high ground or full cover I think that will be helpful. He is not high enough level to have squad side on it, but I still think we can work with it. Plus he also has a few other actions that he could take, mainly the protocols as well as <clears throat> the grenade. I think we might want to shift our nanoscale vest over here, evening out the hit points with the exception of Bastard. Everybody is more or less in an okay state, could take one hit. Hogbite got uh, the mad kit, and that's the only form of healing that we have. Let's see how well this is going to go. Valiantly swinging out of uh, the Sky Ranger, and uh, we already find the first the first source of civilians. Move in and help fend off the attacking alien forces. Well, we came in without any concealment, so that's not good. Problema, capo. Bastard, moves, uh, Bastard moves up. I'm going. I'll play it slow. I can handle that. Losing this region here would not be the end of the world but losing more soldiers would hurt us in the long run. Fire Discipline, getting to 66% chance before taking over wood shots. Look, we could aid protocol, but that would not help anyone. We'll just end the turn. Unfortunately, Bastard doesn't have a normal sidearm. And with normal, I mean one that allows quick shots after he has moved. All right, come on. We need to find we need to find the aliens and hopefully they are not engaging immediately. We don't have yellow alert anymore going, which is a huge relief. Um, for those of you who are wondering, I did the executive decision after a split vote of almost 50-50 to not run with it. In my perspective, the downsides of just promoting a stupid gameplay of hunkering down, finding high ground and just waiting until everybody runs into your fire line. That's not really XCOM-esque because the spirit of XCOM in my perspective is always a trade-off between how far do we want to push in in order to get to the target and how much are you risking uh, by doing so versus not triggering too many pots. If all of the pots are anyways triggered, uh, you are better off to simply uh, stand your ground, have high ground, very good or nearly um, uh, perfect cover and then just do overwatch traps um, or yeah, use options like I did in the last campaign where you do have a scout um, and use explosives. That 
is an interesting gameplay uh, if you just like val uh, valiant firefights but if you actually want strategic or tactical depth i believe that not using uh, yellow alert is the better option the core idea of yellow alert isn't bad to um, have a higher consequence of you breaking breaking concealment and essentially attracting more pots but it has been dialed to a point where just everybody uh, moves into your location and that really begins to yeah turn around the game into something completely different it's more a tower defense uh, type of game instead of a tactical squad advancement uh, game i'm surprised to see just how much uh, how long the activity here takes i have no idea why that is um, but let's hope uh, it's going to go through elsewise i just need to uh, edit that afterwards so in terms of uh, thought process here if we can save the entire first cell that would be six soldiers uh, six resistance operatives rather we would be in a near perfect position because it would have all uh, already helped us a lot very likely that there is nothing down there elsewise it would have triggered so this time we're pushing a bit more aggressive good very good All right, pushing in. On Overwatch. Did you hear something? Yeah, the aliens are about to burst out of their little line of sight bubble there. And it's going to be a very violent and uh, rupturous next two turns. That's my forecast. My reading of the situation is they are standing just out of line of sight behind uh, that uh, behind that wall and the moment that we're uh, that we're seeing the first pack i'm pretty sure the second one will add as well it's typically two packs uh, for the uh, for the first resistance cell and then another three to four for the one afterwards My biggest concern is we still do have the advantage on advent because it's month number three so the worst thing that could happen are vipers and stun lances but i already notice <clears throat> how little damage we are dealing to turrets for instance and we don't have shredding so as time goes on i'm a bit concerned that we're going to find ourselves in a really really tough spot if grenades are really our only way of uh, resolving the massive armor that enemies are having specifically something like regenerating armor of the hive queen then this is going to be a doomed run for sure our weapons will never deal enough damage in order to go through that so we need to find ways of shredding hopefully some of the special abilities will allow us to do that um, I'm not sure uh, which of the normal special abilities these soldiers are drawing from. If it is from the normal soldier pool, then shredding is typically one of them. But we definitely in our team need at least one source of very reliable shredding. And for endgame units, we need uh, multi shot plus shredding. I just don't see a way through that elsewise. I haven't looked at the skill trees yet so I really don't it's it's a blind playthrough with those classes so I really don't know if we're going to see something and so far my reading uh, of the tech specialist for instance is that they are um, supposed to deal with mechanical units uh, they their combat protocol seems to be quite potent keep in mind we're only at level one with combat protocol and it's already dealing uh, six points of damage against uh, mechanical units but it is a six rounds cooldown so i can hardly believe that that is going to be the answer for all of um, our mechanical enemies 
which are typically the ones that have more armor. We know the aliens are somewhere there. Absolutely. And there we go. Rawr. The hive is rushing towards us yet again. Sustaining fire and Suhuger is overwatching. Should have maybe used Hopbite in order to deliver a deadly blow. I was forecasting a violent burst, uh, a violent eruption of. Uh, mm, of fights that are happening, but apparently that is not the case. Yeah, I don't want to. There are advantages and disadvantages. Unfortunately, we only have one mine, so. Well, a lot of advent purifiers. Well, it's not within range of my position. It's quite far away, actually. All right, this is supposed to help us against uh, aliens that are pushing forward. But there is definitely a second pack somewhere here. Elsewise, these guys would have already moved into safety. Alright, I hate Overwatch crawl tactics, but sometimes they are just the most efficient way of dealing with it. Chrysalid crawlers, small but dangerous. I got nothing. Miss the target. Commander, Advent isn't backing off. No, they Advent isn't backing off at all. Forces just to get a better shot at the civilians. Take those bastards down. All right, three pots of Advent. Cool, that is a new uh, type of cover here. Once uh, this chrysalid is dead, I think we have saved that cell, but it also means these two will be starting to run closer towards the actual firefight. Nice, nice hit. Unfortunately, not no explosion. Resists fighters are putting in a good amount of work. Good. Hogbite finishes this guy mainly because I want to make sure that we're getting up uh, the focus count here. Just one focus. Yep, and like I predicted. We're seeing a solid move forward. Hopbite is following. Good to go. Nemri pushes forward, nothing. I'm all over. 
So Cougar pushes forward. We have the problem with Bastard that he doesn't have squad side. Okay. So let's aggressively push forward as much as we can. More civilians are being targeted. As long as two of the resistance fighters are surviving, we're good. So far, we're okay with that. I think the resistance fighters actually will uh, take revenge now. Stunlance is in good full cover here, so that's a problem. Nice, great explosion takes away the full cover and uh, starts to burn the stun lancer. Trooper takes uh, damage as well. Stun lancer takes some damage, that's good. Oh wow, these resistance fighters are definitely not taking no for an answer. Very well done. To be precise, exceptionally well done. Alright, Stun Lancer moves away. What a prick. So we're moving forward and don't, I don't want to trigger another pack for now. Let's do this. Move into Overwatch. Seems doable. Overwatch. Instead we're going for Massive 8 Protocol. Stun Lancer might die. Oh yeah, hit the Purifier, that would be great if that guy explodes. That's a two for one, wow. I think they just finished the mission. Being somewhat serious here, I think that one stun lancer is the only thing that's left. First phase is one. That's good. That's good. We've heard rumors about some kind of shapeshifters. I'm guessing this is it. It is a remarkable species. If only we had some means of containment. Don't even think about it. Seventy-five percent shot so and made. bastard misses. Absolutely. Move up. Aggressively deploy the mine. Whatever you say. We're spreading out, mainly because I don't want uh, to be hit by more than one soldier. This guy has a small AOE radius around his attacks. Never mind. Wow, couldn't believe that we flawless that one. In all fairness, big thumb, uh, thumbs up for the resistant fighters. 
Um, give them some love in the comment section down below. They actually handled the advents properly. To be fair, they pro potentially could have uh, won the entire fight because Edwin was shooting the civilians at the same time. Cool. Hogbite um, does have <laughs> Reaper. Chef Kiss. Love it. Pretty really damn good ability overall. Aftershock isn't bad either, but uh, we are not vaulting that often. Oh yeah, well, Fortress and Reaper. <coughs> the XCOM gods have certainly started to smile uh, gently on Hogbite. I like fire support with the ability to suppress a target and get an aim bonus. I also like return fire, but I will go into fire support because I'm realizing that we will need some uh, some more active suppression. Big Fat 12 uh, um, civilians rescued, chrysalid corpses, a faceless corpse which is great for mimic beacons. We got it all. That was a super successful mission after the rather tough one the last time. Currently don't need more rookies. Well, we definitely need more rookies. Uh, thinking about it, wait, 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 wait. Uh, we do have supply drop in six days. And actually what I wanted to do is get a deeper roster. And I think we do have the recruitment for 15 supplies. So we're going to go with that. Dilly G, uh, yeah, sure. Let's recruit him. Warn the crew to stay away from the advent leave rations. Uh, second one, uh, Jacobo here. Who else is commenting often? Euler? Hmm. Not bad. Matt. Sam Walker, John McMullen. Hmm, I think that that is a character. That that is a uh, user's uh, described character as well. Not sure. Let's hire. We still got a couple more supplies. Valdez, aka Hats. Yeah, Euler can. Uh, it cannot hurt to have Euler on uh, our payroll. Andrew Zell. There you go. Noah. We still have supplies left over. Sam Walker. Let's get a full roster right away. Good. I think that's good enough. We still have 180 left over and we are running 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 rookies. So at least the depth of our roster is not going to be a problem. I suspect that there will be um, casualties throughout the run. So, Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. Having people on the back uh, will be helpful. Um, we wanted another marksman. A. Aaron is being drafted as a marksman. And I think Mike the Public Bravo as a striker needs the right armor color. 
good but is very much welcome to the team finally got another frontliner in terms of classes to assaults we need more field medics i definitely like the marines so far need another marksman that's what we're building at the moment we're okay on zappers and yeah well, tech specialists will get them as well these findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts commander Adaptive personal combat sims. Uh, we need to uh, immediately research that. Reuse them indefinitely. That's a great uh, a great option because it allows us to uh, to salvage the ones that we're not using. New regional contact located. The local resistance we just established contact with have sent over all the intel they've collected on the chosen operating. In uh, fighting against the warlock. That is going to be rough. Two more days until the supply drop. What else can we use? We got enough supplies. Three rookies. Could we could use that? But I feel we do have a lot of rookies already. You know what? This is supposed to be a Starship Trooper inspired run. So there is not uh, there is no such thing as too many rookies. Commander, the infirmary can be used to improve the recovery process of our wounded soldiers. Good. That effectively reduces our amount of engineers down to one again because speed up the process through therapy. We need the healing process just to get these guys into action in a reasonable amount of time. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. It is unfortunate, Commander, that your recent efforts have proven to be so mediocre. mediocre. Yeah, sure. Good sabotage. Well, wait, wait, wait. Training. Chosen can attempt to sabotage on the Avenger, Avenger and they are also increasing their training. Well, that is, isn't that great. Okay, this one here is not so relevant. The collateral damage one is a bit more relevant. And unfortunately, they already have lightning reflexes. So, soldier bonds grow faster. Great. We had our new recruits. That was good. Don't need resistance contacts at the moment, and we need to improve our relationship. <clears throat> Good, we got this skirmishers. Is the of the skirmisher faction. They may look like Advent, but they sure don't act like it. Now that we've established contact, we can scan at this location to gain additional support for our cause. You know them as they were. My kind were once the puppets of... Okay, what do we have? Facility construction speed increase. That's not bad. Any shredding does an additional... Sh that's, that's the one. That is the one we were looking for. So, what do we need? More influence would be helpful. Intel, not bad. Soldier born, not bad. Scientist, not bad. Hum, hum, hum. We got aim plus four, which I think a lot of our soldiers can actually use, such as Zukuger here. But that is a 14 days mission, and there is an ambush chance. So, Carabinero helps with the ambush. Who gets the plus aim? Difficult to say, really. Um, it would be very well positioned on a uh, on a marine. 
So let's try that. And aim plus four is the maximum that you could get in one of those missions. We got two zappers here. We could also send the field medic. Nah. Let's put Hogbite on it because I didn't want to use him outside too much, so might as well use him on those missions. That'll give us an extra slot and hopefully a path forward to invade his stronghold at some point. We're promoting Quake, who just became a, another marksman. Isn't too bad, I like it. Already has almost the right colors. Cool. Very good. With the third marksman training, we should be good to go. Enough marksman, uh, marksman for now. Maximum power, power relay is started to be built. We, however, free that up and instead put Sergey here. 55 days is a lot. We're in a slog. But I also need my soldiers back. So it is what it is. We need another engineer. Okay, who uh, just joined us? Alan Smith. I don't know him. Brian Brew. Nigmer, Bipak, and we get some more stuff. Let's first of all visit the black market. We don't necessarily have enough intel, but I want to double check what we're dealing with. Scientist would be helpful. The rest is pretty mediocre. Suit up. Uh, all armor and vest projects are completed instantly. Not a bad trait. All PCSs are increased. That's actually quite good. Experimental uh, weapons are immediately finished. The continent bono uh, bonuses are not the best ones this time. Suit up is okay. Not great. Integrated warfare is better, so we can ignore uh, this direction for now and instead go for integrated warfare. Setting course for Sector 14, East Asia. Starting to build the radio relay. Commander, the aliens have made significant progress. And look at that. Uh, the game the even offers us some treaty by putting uh, putting something down there going to stop hunting us commander our only option is to find them first to do that we'll need to work with the resistance on a covert well all of those here wouldn't be too bad but uh, I rather take squad size two for now instead of the rest. All right, Ender Sanders uh, is the next one in training and we need another field medic. Aaron just has recently be, uh, been promoted to a marksman. So please carry yourself as one. Commander running things. I've got plenty of time to focus on learning to fly this boat. From what I've seen, you could use the practice. Okay. Here we go. It is just as I had hoped, Commander. Fantastic breakthrough that's helpful for us. 
So Advent Trooper, that would give us uh, battle scanners, mind shields. I think we're going for Mimic Beacon next. I am at a lot. I was not going. And there's finally our next target. We either can fight against a lot of beast-like enemies, uh, that does not look appealing, or fight against the Lost. Assault Infantry Corporal. Or get into collateral damage isn't great either. Hmm. Good question. I think we're, well, another assault infantry corporal would actually be quite good. We need intel to expand further. Yeah, I think I need to go for the intel, plus collateral damage is a really poor dark event. It might not seem, uh, seem as much, but if every single advent is carrying grenades, it's it starts to add up. So maybe we're doing Operation Hot Days and as the next one. It's not great, but uh, we gotta do it. Okay, well, that is going to happen uh, next mission. As far as I'm concerned, we're still okay, doing fine. We're hanging in there, but it's going to be more and more difficult. And if you like more and more difficult, then now is the right time to do the very difficult task of trying to hit that like button uh, and show me that, uh, that you got what it takes. Thank you and see you in two days. Bye-bye.